Islamic affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India, as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, and that I will faithfully discharge. I see that I am been elected a member of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Do swear in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India, as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, and that I will faithfully discharge the duty upon which I am of I, I see here the young, having been elected a member of the Nagaland Assembly, do swear in the name of God that I bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India, as by law established, that I uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. I, I a member of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance, and allegiance to the Constitution of India, as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. I, Sri Ekshtabhi Abrahimi, having been elected member of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly, <coughs> Do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. That I will uphold the so I, Dr. Tsilutu Hurtso, having been elected a member of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly, do swear in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India and that I will faithfully discharge the duty upon which I am about to enter. In accordance with Rule 7.3 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in the Nagaland Legislative Assembly, the House shall proceed to elect the Speaker of the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Honorable Members, I have received a nomination paper in favor of Sri Chairman Nongamur, proposed by Sri Tenjin Imna Alo, and seconded by Dr. Kekhil Lobi Yome. Honorable Members, since there is only one nomination paper, I have the pleasure to declare Sri Chairman Nongamur unanimously elected as Speaker of the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly. I extend my heartiest congratulations. session for the pictorial poster for the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly. I thank God Almighty for His mercy and grace and also to the people of Nagaland for electing us to represent them in the 14th House of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. And I take great pleasure in congratulating all the honorable members for present here. My special congratulations to our two ladies who for the first time got elected to the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. We are humbled and I believe that each one of us present today is committed to serve our people for the for achieving peace and development in our state. Speaker Sir, I also rise to congratulate Sri Sharingi, Longkumar, yourself, 
on my own behalf and on behalf of the honorable members of this August House for being elected on opposed to the prestigious constitutional post of Speaker, Nagaland Legislative Assembly today. On 7th February 2020, Sri Sharangir Lok Kumar was elected Speaker of the 13th House of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly and on that occasion also he was elected on a post. Many of us were members of the last house and were witnesses to the outstanding and dignified manner in which he carried out the responsibilities of the post of Honorable Speaker. Given his qualification and rich experiences, we have unanimously decided to entrust him with the prestigious post of Speaker once again. And I sincerely thank all the members of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly for graciously accepting our nomination of the candidate and elected him <coughs> once again on contested. And also to the people of Nagaland for electing us to represent them in the 14th House of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. And I take great pleasure in congratulating all the honorable members for present here. My special congratulations to our two ladies who for the first time got elected to the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. We are humbled and I believe that each one of us present today is committed to serve our people for the for achieving peace and development in our state. Speaker Sir, I also rise to congratulate Sri Sharangi Longkumar, yourself. On my own behalf and on behalf of the honorable members of this August House for being elected on opposed to the prestigious constitutional post of Speaker, Nagaland Legislative Assembly today.